that I, I called uh, social services that day and placed myself into foster care at 16 years old. I was moved to Lake County to uh, Tim Monty's foster home, placed under his care. I came from being homophobic, racist, on drugs, no social skills whatsoever, to a teenage boy that went to school with enough resources to make friends, to f focus on academics, and I became college bound for the first time in my life. I, a year later, in December 06, I moved to Ukiah into the THPP program, Transitional Housing Placement Program, with Debbie Tannenbaum as my host mentor. I had a lot of responsibility and freedom. I had to provide my own transportation, make my own appointments, go to school and work on my own schedule and with help from the program. I had my own person for everything, for job, school, therapy, anything I needed. I had a person in RCS or in the THPP program to help me out and give me advice. Uh, June 07, six months later, I went to THP Plus, which is the next program from 18 to 20 year olds And it's the same thing as THPP, except they put you in your own house and there's no one living there with you, just two youths in the same house making decisions. Uh, the re uh, I had such an incredible support network through RCS and Mendocino County alone. Um, if I would not have had anybody behind my back, I would not have been aware of where I am now. Uh, I'm a college student, I work, I am involved in my community, I'm in rural murals, I uh, mentor RCS camp for children, and uh, the whole experience has taught me to be a healthy young adult that is still making decisions, and uh, I just had a lot of help for, from everybody in RCS and Mendocino County in the school districts. So thank you very much, have a good day. Sir, sir. I want to publicly thank you for your honesty. Mm -hmm. um, it's not easy for a man of your years to stand here before us and tell us your story as you've done today. I want to publicly thank you for your honesty and your initiative to improve yourself and to move forward in the future, and I, th I thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. My name is Shiana Cummins and I am 17. I live in a THPP home with Lucia Bianchi and I am with RCS, Redwood Children's Services. And I was taken away from my parents when I was six years old and placed in numerous foster care systems with my younger siblings, my two younger sisters. And when I was 10 years old, I was finally placed in a group home with RCS called, Cross, called Clover House, which is a group home to pretty much give children a chance and a place to stay so that way they have somewhere to stay and I stayed there for two years and then I moved to Crossroads which is a, an additional group from with RCS and they have and it's for the older children and I graduated from Crossroads um, after living there for two years and I went to a prospective adoptive home in Petaluma and while I lived in Petaluma I started getting into drugs and I became pregnant and um, I just started doing things that my adoptive parents as new parents really just were not ready to handle and I had a younger sister my younger sister Laura lives there and they just needed to have me removed from the situation on the behalf of her and I understood that I moved to Cloverdale and I um, got into a beautiful home and these people were amazing and I just knew that they wanted to love me and I was not ready to let that person in yet. And I just pushed them away and they just kept telling me, we're gonna love you for no matter what. And I just continued to push them away. And then I finally realized that they had noticed my pattern of doing drugs and resourcing to boys and to keep pushing people away. And, and they finally were just like, we're here no matter what. And that's when I really realized that there are so many people out there that love me and that are willing to take care of me and I ended up moving back into Ukiah and I got placed into an, an additional group. Um, it's a transitional group home and it's called Mendocino House. And I lived there from September of last year until March of this year and I'm now in THPP, which is a transitional, ho transitional housing program with RCS. And the move between Mendocino House and transitional helped me so much because I realized that if I would have gone from foster care into THPP, I would have not able to succeed because 
Mendocino House gave me the opportunity of, of being an adult slowly and becoming a young adult rather than just throwing me out there. And now I am doing very well. I'm graduating high school this year and starting off at the college. And I'm gonna be working on my AA and child development because I wanna come and become an adoption social worker. And my foster parents just really showed me just a new light on things. And ever since then, I've just looked at life in a positive, more positive way. So that's my story. And thank you very much for taking the time to hear what we have to say about child um, abuse pre prevention. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> My name is Dolores Rodriguez, and I was placed in foster care when I was 14 years old. I was physically and sexually abused by my dad and my uncle. Um, it was hard for me to, um, especially as a Hispanic person, tr going into such a transition, and um, I had a really hard time, but I had great social workers who helped me so much and have made me the person that I am now. They. Um, they placed me in various foster homes, and finally I had um, Casa Worker who spoke out for me and who helped me very much. And she became my foster mom after my other foster home were in having a hard time with me. She was the one that kept me going. She, I graduated from high school, I am in college, I have a son, and I am a very good mother because of my experience. And I have to say that it has a lot to do with my past. And I have been, oh, sorry, <laughs> I have, um, I am a person that helps those who are going through that and young girls who are experiencing it and don't know how to cope with it. I was, at my age of 15, I tried committing suicide because I didn't know what to do in my life. And my foster mom, she helped me through. And she told me, you're either the victim or you're the survivor. And I became a survivor. And I am so thankful that I was placed in um, transitional housing program that made me become independent. I learned how to manage my banks, manage my money, and succeed as a young woman in this world. And I have to say that if it wasn't for them, I don't know where I'd be at right now. And. Um, so I am here to tell you that this is the best thing that we, they can do for us, to help us and um, teach us that things happen to people for whatever reason it is, but at the end, if you look at it, it's only for the best. So thank you. Thank you for your prayer. Chairman Wattenberger, members of the board, I'm Carmel Angelo, Director of the Health and Human Services Agency. There's really nothing more I can say other than thank you so much for your support and for your recognition of Child Abuse Prevention Month. Earlier in this month, April 6th, was the, um, the National County Government Week where the theme was protecting our children. We're going to enhance that, as you'll see today, at our luncheon around Child Abuse Prevention Month. Thank you. Thank you. Comments from the board to this point? Supervisor Delbar. Well, Mr. Chairman, I, I just want to chime in on, on your thought, your comments to the folks, the youth that spoke today. That took a lot of courage, or a lot of courage, and I also want to thank you for having that courage to stand up, not only and tell your story to all those, listen, all of those of us, you did a better job speaking than I am. <laughs> all of those in this room, but to all those that are watching this meeting as well. And I also want to congratulate you for making your lives better and taking that initiative. But I also want to thank those who helped you get there, the counselors and the foster parents and the, and the staff and, and RCS and Camille and, and all those folks is that all of you together are making a difference. And I thank you so much for that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Supervisor Smith, I believe uh, you have something to introduce. 